Welcome to Ultimate Orlando Clicks. I am your host, Kevin, and this week we are starting at Disney's Hollywood Studios, where the signs in the parking lot have been replaced. Not sure if you can tell. They've just been replaced with the same things, just brand new versions of them. We're here at Muppet Vision at the end of that first hallway. This is the queue, and they've long had a poster of sorts here. It was always a lenticular, uh, and now it's been changed out to show Muppets Most Wanted. So it's a, a new change to uh, obviously advertise the new movie. Switching over to Disney's Animal Kingdom, this is a soggy day on the weekend. Uh, the Tree of Life is off to the side here. We're in the Tree of Life Gardens. We're looking at this sign, which was uh, new to me anyway. I'm not sure how long this has been here. Uh, and so it shows exactly how wide some of these birds can stretch their arms. And so it's a, a little bit of splash of color really to the Tree of Life uh, Gardens area. Trilobites has uh, previously been noted for um, moving away from the uh, uh, first the French fries and then the turkey legs that they had here. <clears throat> I'm not sure how long it's been here, but they have a pulled buffalo chicken waffle sandwich. So the waffle chicken sandwich um, is a combination we know from Sleepy Hollow uh, over in the uh, Liberty Square area of Magic Kingdom, and now they've got a buffalo version of that here at Trilobites. On this particular rainy day, we saw this sign up in Dino Land for the dig site, and the entrance is next to one of these uh, Wilderness Explorers booths, and so the, the crocodile is behind us. Um, and this is not the normal way into this zone, which is, you know, the dinosaur dig area. It's normally a cast member way, in fact. Well, it turns out that the boneyard entrance is closed because on rainy days that the whole area gets flooded. So that was just a little tidbit of information I'd never seen before. Now we are in the Cretaceous Trail here, and as you can see, people are posing with this dinosaur. Nothing new about that. What is new are some of these props around. So it turns out they've got some retheming here. They're now calling it a dino camp, and they've got paint um, lying on the ground here, and these other props in front, implying it's turned into kind of a campsite. And as we take a closer look, not just at the boombox nailed on the wall, but the drums showing Huey, Dewey, and Louie, we see that it's Donald's nephews, apparently, who that must be the theme of what they've done to this campsite. Um, <clears throat> this is the one dinosaur left on the Cretaceous Trail. There's another one actually up in the, the trees, but no one knows about it or goes there. And this one has a hidden Mickey on it, in case you've never really paid much attention to that dinosaur. The hidden Mickey's not new. The ride dinosaur around the corner still has a Kodak sign. It's the last, uh, last Kodak sign I've been able to spot. Everything else has been con converted over to the Nikon signs. A little bit of construction walls in the Chester and Hester uh, Dinorama area. And then coming uh, from there around to the theater in the wild, this raised platform caught my eye because I don't usually walk this direction. So it turns out that uh, eight months ago when they had these walls up in the Fast Pass Plus entrance, what they were doing was raising the area up. So you couldn't uh, necessarily see that it was raised up from this angle, but when you're down here where the previous photo was taken, you would see that it was a raised up holding pin basically for Fast Pass Plus. And that's uh, the better part of a half a year old now. Over at uh, Expedition Everest in the final queue zones here, these are screens that have now been covered up with uh, permanent, well, I guess semi-permanent posters. So either they're not going to use the screens or the screens are not yet turned on, but these are the posters that I would thought I would snap for you so you could see that they're uh, themed to Yeti and got that same kind of blend of humor, so Yeti brand uh, cereal or muesli. <clears throat> and this is a shot into the caged area down below, just lots of uh, advertisements and uh, in-theme areas. Now the lighting isn't great for this, uh, but you can see that there is a greenish, brownish kind of overlay color, a patina of age, to the new uh, Lion King Theater. So we are standing near the Dawa Bar, I guess, and uh, zoomed in quite a bit. So the Dawa Bar is over on our right. Where we were looking a second ago was back here. You can see there's also some structures going into the left from there. There's kind of more of an overview view, so you can see those structures. And again, there's the, uh, the wall that is highly themed and aged appropriately, I guess, for the Lion King Theater yet to be named going in the back there in Africa. Looks pretty old and authentic, actually. A couple of different shots of that front area and a thatched <clears throat> hut of sorts in the front area here. And there's about as close as we can get with our uh, zoom lens, cracked wall facades, and so forth. <clears throat> the walls around the catfish and otter area have come down. Now the catfish is not back, at least not that we could find, but there's a new viewing area for the otter, and that's where we're standing right here. So previously this area was um, just a planter, actually, and you couldn't stand where we're standing now. There was an area around this side, and we'll walk over there momentarily. 
So here's a view over the glass into the otter viewing area. There's the underwater viewing, which you can see they've still got. And uh, this screen is new, at least new to my memory. I don't remember there being a screen there before. Um, nor do I remember this field research. You could be fooling myself about this, this piece of metal just on the outside of this walkway here. The walkway itself looked uh, freshly painted and might be brand new. It also seems kind of wide. I'm not sure it looked quite like this before. And this is the previous uh, viewing area, outdoor viewing area for the otters. All right, switching over to the Transportation Ticket Center, you can see here a view of the Polynesian DVC units coming under construction. Many of them now over water, starting to take form. A view of the destruction going on in the hub area. So it was wet again uh, over the weekend, a lot of rain, and so that's why there's a little bit in the moat area there. Um, and as they're ripping things out from here, they're just kind of making a rubbish pile, I guess. Speaking of rubbish piles, this was the former swan boat dock, now completely gone. Here's another angle of it, um, taken from the people mover. The walls around the hub have taken on a couple of uh, animated characters. I guess these are um, like uh, wooden cutouts, painted of course. Uh, and I think they're pretty neat. They show band activity and uh, musical instruments and so forth. There's some less commonly seen characters perhaps. <clears throat> and then um, uh, switching over to merchandise. Now this particular set was available at Hollywood Studios, as was this one. So maybe the Cars connection there princesses that uh, have these weird and wild color schemes. And then over in Animal Kingdom, these are the uh, supposed um, uh, uh, shot glasses, we would call them. Um, but uh, of course, Disney doesn't refer to them as shot glasses. That wouldn't be family friendly. Uh, instead, these are toothpick holders, of course, highly themed, however, to the Disney environment. These are Disney cups that are hard plastic porcelain, or hard plastic anyway. Um, uh, they are not paper cups, although they're obviously modeled on the paper cups. A new Vinylmation series, this one called Robots. Uh, looks rather steampunk. Not sure I like the look myself. A uh, placemat, like a dinner placemat uh, that is a lenticular. That one's kind of neat with all the characters. Duffy on a license plate. And a Walt Disney mustache for sale. A peel and stick stash. It says in the corner here. That was an interesting thing. Steamboat Willie costume for Duffy, $25. And then a whole series of magic band enhancements. And so many of these are new, at least new to me, so I thought I would grab a photo of them. You're not seeing a lot of them on people's wrists yet. Um, so they're continuing to put them out, but I'm not sure that people are buying them. And then these are Star Wars cover bands. At least that one right there was new to me as well. A pin trading starter set with the uh, oversized characters, the quote-unquote chibi-looking characters, uh, and uh, Disney ride vehicles. And so I thought that was a neat one to have as the starter pin trading set. Okay, time for our game. Where in Walt Disney World was this? And I got at least one correct answer last time. This sign um, pointed to the Haunted Mansion and some uh, really illegible Bartlow or something like that, um, scratched out and said Haunted Mansion, um, was uh, in front of Splash Mountain, in fact, uh, coming out of Pecos Bill. And so that's been replaced uh, by a new tower. In fact, we showed you the tower last week in last week's update uh, where this sign used to be. So it was not actually next to the Haunted Mansion itself. All right, here's the next one. Where in Walt Disney World was this? As always, leave your comment in the section below, and we'll find out next week if you were right. That does it for us this time around, guys. Thanks, as always, for your attention, and we will catch you next time.